Hello, it's James from CDNFI here. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up Amazon S3 as your source or origin server. Amazon S3 is a great uh, storage platform. It's very, very economical. And CDNFI is a great alternative to using CloudFront, which is Amazon CDN, um, because the cost per gigabyte in terms of data transfer is much lower. And we also bundle free custom SSL, which is perfect if you want to host your whole website on a CDN and set up an SSL certificate for it. You can use S3 as your origin and you can serve your content through CDNFI. And we're gonna learn how to do that now. So this is assuming you've had some previous experience with S3. We're gonna go ahead and log into the Amazon Management Console. And for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna create myself a new bucket. And let's just call this CDNFI. The region can be anything you like, although um, I'm just gonna use the standard option here. We'll create that bucket and then we'll just quickly upload uh, a file so we have some content to work with and we can test this out. So I'll upload a PDF containing our logo into my new bucket. And as you can see, we've now got a file called logo.pdf. There's a couple of things we need to do to our bucket to, uh, to control the properties and ensure that it's suitable as an origin for the CDN. The first thing we need to do is enable static website hosting. So I'm going to go on to our properties, enable static website hosting. In this case, I haven't got an index file, but I guess in normal uh, examples, this would be index.html or whatever your index file is called, and we'll click on save. You can also, if you like, specify an error document for things like 404 messages. Now we've gone and saved that. If we copy our endpoint, this is what we'll actually use as the origin and we'll notice now that if we open the file which i've uploaded we'll get actually an error message and that's because we haven't yet set the permissions for this bucket and what you need to do is you need to head onto google and search for amazon s3 web hosting permissions and this is where a lot of people trip up and we've had a lot of customers contact us and ask us why they're getting access denied messages it's because you need to actually explicitly grant permission on all files for this bucket. So we'll copy this policy and we'll go back onto our management console, head down, uh, sorry, head up to where permissions is and we'll click on add bucket policy. You'll see a text field appears here and we can paste the policy. And the only thing you need to do is edit where it says example bucket to whatever name you have chosen for your bucket. So obviously in this example, I've used CDNFI. That must match up. And then we click on save. Now if we head back to where our file is and we refresh, you'll see the logo will now download. So once we've done that, we can go and add this as an origin on CDNFI. So we'll click create a new resource. We'll paste the, the bucket name as our origin and we'll set a name for our resource on CDNFI and we'll then hit create. As you can see, we've now had our resource created. So if we click onto this and then we try and access our logo, the file will then download and will be served through CDNFI lightning fast. And that's it, that's all that you have to do. Obviously, you can then go to add a custom uh, CNAME record, a custom domain, and if you want, you can set that to anything you like, your website host name. So as an example, we've got our site ignisso.com, which is served entirely through CDNFI, and this is actually stored on S3. This whole site is actually stored on S3, so there's no web server involved here at all. We've also installed a SSL certificate for this custom domain on CDNFI. So when our customers visit the site, they'll be reassured because they'll get the green lock at the top of the browser. So CDNFI is a great um, way to serve your content really quickly from an S3 bucket. And Amazon S3 is a really great way to store your files without the need of having a web server or web hosting account set up. 